Hello and happy Tuesday. Welcome to Mrs. Abel's Cartoon at Noon. Today is Tuesday, April the 14th, 2020. Hope you're all having a great day and you're ready for a creativity break because today we are going to draw Woody from Toy Story because you're my favorite deputy. There's a snake in my boots. Somebody poison the water hole. All right, go ahead and grab a pencil or a marker and a piece of paper. Grab some things to color with and don't forget that at any point in time during this, if you need a little bit of time to catch up, just go ahead and hit that pause button and get all caught up. All right, we are going to put our page in the portrait format, which is straight up and down vertical. We are going to zoom in on Woody. We're not going to necessarily get his entire body in there. We're really looking kind of from the waist up, or you might have a little bit of extra room to put his pants there, but I really want to zoom in on his awesome cowboy expression. We are going to start about a quarter of the way down the page with Woody's eyes. I want you to be sure that you leave a little room above that for his eyebrows and his hair and his hat. We are going to start with his eyes, which are two large circles, about a quarter of the way down the page, and there's a little bit of space in between those circles. So let's go ahead and get Woody's eyes in there. So we'll do one circle for his first eye. You're going to move over a little bit. And do the other circle for the other eye. Don't worry if they're the exact same size, exact same shape. Just have some fun with it. All right, we're going to go ahead and get his eyelids in there. He's kind of looking at us and smiling. So at the top of each of those eyes, you will do a little bit of a curved line, one like that on that eyelid. On the other eye, go ahead and do one like that. All right, let's go ahead and get Woody's eyeballs in there, his pupils. Nice circle inside each of those eyes. And before you go ahead and color those in all black, I like to put that little circle, that little white circle for the highlight. Nice little trick whenever you're doing cartoon eyes. If you do a little circle at the top of each eye, like that, and then you go ahead and fill in the eye, fill in that pupil, leaving that little white circle open, and that gives you the little highlight, the little glint in his eyes. All right, Woody's got a nice long nose, but we're really only going to go ahead and indicate the tip of his nose just to show that the nose is on his face. He's looking straight out at us. So you're going to go down a little bit of space and underneath each of his eyes, you want to go ahead and put two horizontal lines like that. And then you want to join them together with kind of a smiley face shape that comes down a little bit and forms the tip of his nose. All right, let's get his smile in there. Woody's got a nice big bright smile. He's pretty happy. It's not so far from his nose. We're gonna go ahead and do that, the top of his smile. Nice little curve there. Go ahead and put his cheek highlights in there. I really just kind of like straight lines that maybe curve outward a little bit on those sides. And let's get the bottom of his nice big smile in there as well. You can always see Woody's teeth because he's smiling so big. So another straight line just right across like this, which you will leave white. That'll be the top of his teeth. And let's go ahead and get his tongue in there. You can just put a little rainbow arch and then another little rainbow arch for his nice pink tongue. Then using your black crayon or your marker or some dark color, you want to go ahead and fill in on the inside of his mouth so that it really shows off his nice white teeth and his pink tongue. So you really get that impression that his mouth is open. All right, last features on Woody's face before we're going to get his head in there are his eyebrows. So you want to do just kind of rainbow arches above his eyes like that. You could leave them like that or you can go ahead and double those up if you want to be able to color them in brown like this. And again, I didn't worry that they're the exact same size. One's longer than the other, and that's completely okay. All right, the shape of Woody's face. Woody's face is nice and long. He's got a real thin kind of oval-shaped face. So what you will do is you're going to kind of come straight down, curve underneath his mouth, and straight back up again. Then later we'll add his hairline and his hat. So starting above his eyebrows, over here, you are going to come straight down curve underneath his mouth. And when you get to the other side, you're going to go straight back up again. Okay. So he's got a nice long face with his jawline and then it curves underneath his mouth. All right. Up here, let's go ahead and get the brim of his hat in there. So his hat is wider than his head. So you'll start over here and you'll come a straight line that goes right across like that. And you can kind of go really wide because it's the brim of his big cowboy hat. Nice straight line. The edges of his hat over here, the brim of his hat, they angle out like this. So you want to do a diagonal line that angles out like so. And then we are going to swoop down and do this curved line that joins those two lines together. So you're going to swoop down a little bit, 
come right across and right back up to the other side. Let's go ahead and get the top of Woody's hat in there, depending on how much room you have on the page. A little bit wider than the shape of his head. Again, you're going to go ahead. This is an angled line that points toward the top of the page. Same thing on the other side, an angled line that points up like that. And it's flat at the top, his cowboy hat. So you can go ahead and join that together with the line. His hat moves around a lot. It's okay if the shape is a little bit off or if it's a little bit tilted, completely okay. However you've done it, just have fun with it. Let's get the band of his hat on there. He's got a band on his cowboy hat by coming up to sort of the, not quite the middle of that top of his hat and drawing a line that goes straight across. You can see that I colored that band a darker brown and then did his hat a lighter brown. However you wanna do that is completely okay. All right, let's get Woody's hairline and his ears in there. So for his hair, on this side of his hair, we're just gonna draw a diagonal line that comes above that eyebrow like so. He's got these bangs that kind of come underneath his hat rim. So you wanna do sort of a smiley face line, a curved line that curves and goes above his eyebrow to the other side. And then you'll close that off with another line that comes down like so to his head. And you color that in nice and brown. That's Woody's brown hair. His ears are like the letter C, like an uppercase C, nice and stretched, and a backward C on the other side of his head. So starting here right under his hairline, you want to do a nice capital letter C like that. He's got nice, long, thin ears. Same thing on the other side, a backwards letter C that comes down like that. All right, starting to look like Woody. You can see when I colored in his face, I made his cheeks a little bit pink because he's like, you know, he's a little bit shy and he blushes a little bit. So I colored his cheeks in a little bit pink and the rest of him, I did his, his fleshy skin tone color. All right, let's get his neck. We want to get his bandana in there and his cow patterned, you know, sheriff's vest and all of that good stuff. So to get his neck underneath his chin here, you want to go ahead and do two pretty close together. He's got a thin neck, two lines like that. And then what we are going to do is create the letter V underneath that because it brings it down to the point at the top of his shirt. You want to do a horizontal line like that. That's the top of the red bandana. And then let's get the bandana tied over here. So the knot is just a circle that comes off the side of the bandana like so. And then the ties of the bandana are kind of shaped like a leaf. So what you'll do is curve a line out and have it come to a point and then you can bring that back right to that circle the other tie on the the other piece of the tie is on behind that one so you'll go up to a point there and then bring that back to the knot as well and that gives you your nice red bandana all right let's get the collar of his nice yellow shirt on there from where you just finished that bandana do an angled line that comes out like that and on the other side an angled line that comes out like this, this is the top of his collar we're going to follow this line and do a parallel diagonal line that matches that one and then go ahead and close that off. Right from the point of the V, you wanna do a parallel line that matches and then close that off. They're almost like two diamond shapes that are on their side. All right, let's go ahead and get his vest in there. From that edge of the, of the collar, what you'll do here is you'll do a straight line down like that. And on the other side, a straight line down like that. We're starting to get the piece of his vest in there. You can even those out if they're different lengths. And then from the point of the collar, you will come down and then curve the line. So it goes over to that side of the vest. Same thing on this one. From the point in the collar, you'll come down and curve the line so that it goes over like that. Let's get some buttons on his shirt. You can do two or three buttons if you want little circles that are on his shirt there. And then inside the vest, you wanna go ahead and get his sheriff's badge, which is shaped like a star. I'm gonna do it right here and then I'll do a bigger one next to it to show you. But the star is just a little point shape there, little two points on the side, and then two more points that join together. Some people do a star like that. You can certainly do it that way if you'd like and get that sheriff star on there. But again, the way to do a star is it's a sort of an upside down, top of a triangle, upside down letter V, come out to the sides and point those like that. And then it's a 
sort of another letter V and another letter V, and that gives you the shape of your general star. Then you want to get his cow print on there. His vest is white, but it's got these wonderful black splotches on it. The fun thing about that is you can kind of do those however you like them to be. You want to go ahead and just put a couple of those cow splotches, and then be sure to use your black crayon or your black marker to color those in so it looks like a nice cow print on his cowboy vest. So you go ahead and color those all in. All right, we're getting there. We need to do his holster, which is across his belt, across his waist. And then we need to get his fun arms in there. His arms are fun because remember that Woody is a doll. So his arms are kind of sewn together. So first thing, let's go ahead and get his holster waistband across there. Do a straight line that goes across like that at the bottom of his vest. Two vertical lines like so, and then you wanna go ahead and close that off. That's his holster belt. Put a nice oval here, which shows his belt buckle that's right there in the middle. And then we wanna do the holster of his gun to the side here, a nice easy shape. We'll go straight out like this, a straight line down, and then just join that together. And that's the holster that holds his gun. His legs are gonna go off the page like I did mine. If you have some room, you could put his pants on there. You could actually, you know, whatever, however you want to do that, right? So that's colored blue and goes off the page. All right, let's get Woody's arms in there. I put my star in the way of my arm, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to work around that, but we'll start with this arm over here. His arm is a shape, a curved shape like this that comes out, and then you want to join that to the point. That's where it's sewn together, his arm. Then his arm is hanging down, so you're going to go ahead and do a curved shape out, and another curve shape out like that, and then close that off. That's kind of his wrist or his uh, the, the, co the cuff of his shirt. And from there, you can do a pretty simple hand. I did an easy hand. I just came down and went back up and then made kind of the thumb like that. Because remember, it's a doll hand. It's a sewn hand like that. Okay, this arm I had up in the air. So the way I did that was I went ahead and did a curved line like this. And you could do a curve, another curved line that meets at his elbow, like so. And then for the other arm, I'm gonna go above the star here, but you're gonna do an arm like this that comes up and one that comes out and then join that for again, the cuff of his shirt. And then he's waving, right? So you're just gonna do kind of a, a circle for his thumb. And it's almost like a little mitt shape. And you can put the lines in there for his hand, because he's sewn, he's a sewn doll, right? So it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. So there you have it, that is Woody, your favorite deputy. I'll tell you what, he is a pretty awesome, awesome cowboy, and he is looking out for Andy and for all the other toys out there. So go ahead and use your crayons and your colored pencils and markers, color him all in, and I can't wait to see some of these. Be sure to put them on Facebook and hashtag cartoon at noon. You can always email them to me at kabel, K-A-B-E-L-L, -L, at myholyfamilyschool.org. And don't forget, if you've missed any of these cartoons at noons, you can go to youtube.com and search Mrs. Abel's cartoon at noon. And all of them over the past few weeks are there. So can't wait to see some of your awesome cartoons. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow.